Hi everyone, just a super quick tutorial on how I make the backgrounds for my speed paints transparent. Just a quick trick that I'd like to demonstrate and then if you'd like to take this further by all means go ahead. Just as another option when you are making speed paints I guess, so I'll just sort of show how I did it. The only real difference in recording setup is that when you do record the speed paint you sort of got to keep in mind which areas you'd like to have transparent. That usually isn't too difficult to work out, it'll just be the negative space and you're treating the actual speed paint like a PNG file. This doesn't work too well for the big um, painting kind of speed paints, the full artworks, but I think that's kind of obvious, yeah. Okay, so the areas that you'd like to be transparent, what you do is you choose a color that you can then green screen out later. And this isn't green, of course, this is purple, but same point. You also shouldn't move the canvas around. This is kind of like those multi-cursor speed paints, and I'll have a link to that tutorial in the description if you don't know what that is. I did actually mess up in this one, and I did accidentally move the canvas, but I went through and painstakingly adjusted and fixed that as best as I could. I think it still shows a little bit in the speed paint, in the, in the, in the video, but whatever. <laughs> um, this is the only example that I have on hand right now to showcase how to make these. So what you do is you go into uh, effects and presets. Uh, if my After Effects won't freeze on me, to one second. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. And then you use this effect called Key Light. And it's one word, so you type that in. It's key light 1.2. So you take it and then you drag it on to your layer and you hit screen color and then select the eye burning background color, whatever, whatever that may be. You might have to change, like there was no purple used in this drawing so this is fine for me. If you're using a lot of purple in yours, set it to a different color, just something that isn't within the actual picture itself. And then that turns that part transparent and then you just go in and you mask around like this. Just be kind of careful here. And you mask around the, the rest of it so there's none of that. And then hey presto, you've got something that can work as a transparent PNG but a speed paint at the same time. You might have to go in and adjust some of these depending on your image. I know that it can mess with the color. I was quite lucky with this one in that it didn't, aside from his eyes very slightly, but the doesn't matter. This isn't a full right key light tutorial. It's really just kind of showing how I did this in the most general of senses. You might have to mess with some of these uh, things here. But yeah, I hope that sort of demystified it if you are interested and by all means try it out yourself.